Hey beautiful people of the Most High God, so as I told you I was going to prove it, this is my first video I ever made on YouTube. This is what God had me make, it's called The Real Kings of England. And then I did, and, um, there was part two, part three, and we're going to get into part, I'm going to go into a little bit of part one, part two and part three, and part four. This is, this is my first video I ever made on YouTube, the Kings of England. And this is when um, God woke me up to the truth about all of the hypocrisy, the lies of history, and the real kings of France. Then I made the series of the real kings of France up until part three, right? And then um, Europe, the inheritance that the children of Israel ruled over all of Europe and lived through all of Europe. The, he the Hebrews ruled Europe and the Queen of Babylon and God talking about um, that, uh, the imposter queen, right? I can't call her any queen. King James, the Hebrew king. And, you know, they. this is like, I was speaking too much truth at this point. The world is lies in darkness. And then they turned my video upside down. See, that's confirmation. Someone's calling. Doesn't matter. I really want to get this information out. The House of Medici, that um, the real Italians are actually the children of Israel as well. And the real Frenchmen and the real black woman on the banknote that Queen Elizabeth impersonate, impersonated and Jerusalem and all of these things are in this playlist so god this was the first thing that god had me speak about on youtube th about the lies in history so as i told you i'm going to prove to you about the british empire that the proceeds of the bible go to the british empire and they're the ones who own the empire so the crown has a perpetual copyright of the king james bible through letter patents originally issued to stop unofficial additions and then to protect the country from rainers, shakers, Quakers. But the real Quakers are the children of Israel. You understand? They just uh, uh, they impersonated a whole lineage, a whole people. And we're going to go into the this book that I actually own this book. I have it. So I'm going to make another video. Um, like showing my book because it's more clear than on the than on the computer, right? Then anyways, let's go. The British Crown, the British Crown actually owns the copyright to the King James Bible, which has been renewed upon the ascension of each succeeding monarch since King James himself. They, what, what? The British Crown actually owns the copyright to the King James Bible, which has been renewed upon the ascension of each succeeding monarch since King James himself. So, um, do you remember King James's son was to ascend the throne and he was beheaded and then the monarch turned white? It, it, it is true. I have videos to prove that. So I don't need to do those videos again. You can watch them if you want or you can do your own history. You know, as in researching, we are in the age of information where where you have a lot of technology. Information is at the tip of your fingertips. You can Google, you can find it. If you're looking at the right places, you can find it. So this book, this book here, this is $150 US, but so much truth worth buying. I own a copy of this book. Okay? Limited to 300 copies. Okay? This book has the engravings, the original engravings of the kings and the queens. Alright? Even William the Conqueror. So, there is this site here, the library.si.e DU of Education Digital Library Book of Brazilologically Book of Kings, right? So you can go and look. Now, I'll have you look inside this book. Maybe it could get it bigger. Can I get this bigger? No, I can't. This is the biggest it can go. But we'll just go through some pages. 
see these are all and then it'll show you that these monarchs were black and this is actually true history this is King James here I know it's small so you can't really see it um, let's see if we could get it bigger no but I'll just go through my book and then you, you'll be able to see it when I um, put it on. So this is the site and this is the book. And I actually made a video about it anyways. So this book is from 1913, okay? Let's get into some pictures because there's some engravings here. There's a few, there's a lot actually and the history and it tells you who succeeded the throne and their pictures um, these are all black men and then it shows you also how they change history and the picture started becoming white so this would be the original of King Edward the third another picture of King Edward the third the black prince and then they put him, this is King Richard II. As you can see, they're all black men. I just want to go to William the Conqueror. Um, John, King John, he was a homosexual king. Um, he was black as well. And then they put him as King Richard. And then they show you that this, this, this Caucasian man is King Richard. And then they show you again that he actually there this is king richard so they show you the real king henry the real king richard and you can just keep going forth and forth king henry the first black long beard hair and then you'll see this is william the conqueror a black man and then they put him as william the conqueror a white man so they kept changing the engravings so the original engravings you'll see look like this. Look at all these details. Um, and then when they copied it, look how it changed. It didn't have all these in, 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 you know, details as hair and hair to go back here, you see? And King Williams has a sword, William the Conqueror, as the world knows him. So these are history books and let's just I just want you to get a good understanding that even reading this book on the internet will not give you any justice like purchasing purchasing it and having it in your possession to look at it so these things are being judged because there's so much lies on history and I've always told you people, like, from I first made this channel, to follow the money. Engravings. Copper engravings. Look up copper engravings in the, 1200, the 1400s, the 1500s, the 1600s, the 1700s. And you will see and know the truth for yourself how they whitewash history. You need to look at copper engravings all right so in this you know the real kings of england my video is actually better you'll see how i put it together king that's what i'm um, king william and this is another this was a painting of him and you'll see that they this like there were brown and they started white wiping out the 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 color of the colors of the children of Israel this was a painting of king um william the conqueror and they in this you'll see like hair is brown and the rest are shaded white they whitewash these histories and they you, you you even see with their helmets they did the same thing and they kept some parts the same and even with his face, it has a little bit of brown hair, but they wiped it out. This is King William when he was younger, right? He has his breastplate of righteousness, his shield of faith, his sword, his crown, all right? So, and obviously I showed the things that they've done with history. 
and then they put him up. This is the lie that he is King William the Conqueror, but this is really King William the Conqueror. So, and then the Bible scriptures of all these things and who castles belong to. I went through all this with you guys. So King Henry the First of England, and then they put him up. So you, obviously, you see, this is a black man. So that this is all talking about the Queen and what God was doing. Um, you can watch this video if you like. Just gonna show you some other stuff. Now, let's talk about King James. This is... You can really go through this. The real Hebrew king, queens and kings. This has a lot of pictures of King James. This is King James's mother, Queen Mary. Mary Stuart. Black woman, kinky hair. Her copper engraving. Look up copper engravings. This is her when she was young. Who they call Bloody Mary because she killed a lot of Protestants. This is King James's dad, Henry Lord Darnley. Now look about Queen Anne. Look at Queen Anne. We're gonna get to. Let's skip up to Queen Anne because these people have lied so much on history. You need to read copper engraving books. That's King James. This was Queen Elizabeth I's brother who they poisoned when he was 15 so he wouldn't ascend the throne. This was King James. Queen Elizabeth I. Now, let's keep going. Now, yeah, we'll start here. King James. King James's dad, King James himself. King James, King James. King James, his wife and his son who they poisoned. King James and Queen Anne. King James and Queen Anne and then it shows you the lineages who ascended the throne, then they put him up as King James. To copy this picture of King James, the original. Do you see that? He's the most, to the most high God and mighty prince, James, by grace of God. Look at this. These pictures, the children of Simeon, Reuben, Levi, Dan, their tens. These are books you need to read. The works. This was the Holy Bible, how it looked. Now, let's go to some of the queens. Queen Anne. Forgive me, I don't know why I'm like. Yeah, the glory of old England. Queen Anne. This is Queen Anne. This is who they put, and that's not her. Prince Henry of Wales. This is King. This is King James's. King Henry is King James's son, who they put up as this, but he actually is this. This was him. King Charles. Forgive me, I made a mistake. King Charles. You can just watch this video if you want to know more, and then. This part four about Queen Elizabeth, part five about Queen Elizabeth, the black, the look, the black Edinburgh castle. I prove all of this through history, and these things God is judging because God is a God of truth. This is not about racism, this is about right and wrong, truth and lie, righteousness and wickedness. The son of Gog is Satan. He knows the blasphemy of those who say they are Jews and are not. 
them. This, oh, I actually have a book, a video of showing my book. So here, maybe I don't have to show it to you guys. This is the book here. See when you open it, you see it's better. But I, you should purchase it. beautiful people so this is what I I don't like just speaking about things I like proving them so study to show yourself approve you need to study copper engravings you need to look in at museums you need to look at pictures so the point of this video is to prove that why God is judging and taking out the British crown because they stole the work of his people um, that the British Crown actually owns the copyright of the King James Bible and they have nothing to do with the King James by the King James lineage, the children of Israel, the children of Judah. So stay blessed, beautiful people. Take care.